anyone else gonna get that? Yes, not. I got it. Whatever. It's cool. Y'all are disappointing. Help desk. This is Geraldine. What seems to be the nature of your problem? Hey, so I'm trying to log into the network and I can't seem to make it work. Oh, okay. Boy, that's a challenge. Glad I picked up this call. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Walk me through how terribly difficult this is. Um, so I put my ID and password in. Uh huh. And then it says it can't log me in. Right. Mystery. What could it possibly be? Well, this is super weird because I normally don't have any trouble. Oh, you never have any trouble? This is the first time for you to encounter such an insurmountable difficulty that it prompted you to call the help desk. Yeah. You feel this problem is so hard that it demands the assistance from a paid professional. You can't crack this nugget? You can't figure it out? Um, did I catch you on a bad day? Why would you say that? It just seems like you kind of have an attitude. What? I have an attitude? I'm just sitting here minding my own business. I'm not the person who can't get into the network. <laughs> I'm in the network just fine. I got no problems. Right, but you work at the help desk. Oh, you know all about me, don't you? All about me. Can't you just help me, please? <clears throat> oh, now you need my help? Just a minute ago, you were saying I had an attitude and now all of a sudden you're desperate for my assistance? I don't know, maybe you think it's cool to insult someone and then demand they help you. I guess that's how it is where you live. You do you, I guess. So my password, please? All right, have you tried turning your computer off then turning it back on again? Does that work? No. I'm just saying stupid stuff over here to keep you occupied. I'm just making stuff up over here because that's what I like to do with my spare time. Turn your computer off, then turn it back on again. Do it, do it. Okay, okay. So now do I, do I turn it back on? No, we just leave it off. Oh. Of course you turn it back on again. What part of turn your computer off and turn it back on again do you not understand? Did your brain just cut out after my first set of instructions? S sorry. How are you gonna log into the network with a computer turned off? How are you gonna do that? Are you magic? Do you have magic? Are you a wizard? Am I talking to a wizard? <laughs> Are you gonna whip out your wizard wand and abracadabra yourself into the network? Is that what you're planning on doing? No, I don't know, maybe. Is your computer back on yet? It's booting up. Uh-huh, all right. I guess we'll just wait for that then. I'm doing what you asked me to do. Not fast enough. I got other people to help. All right, I got people who got real problems calling in. And what are they gonna do if the line is busy? I don't know. I can't just log into the network. And it's my problem that you failed? Take some responsibility for your actions. I'm trying to, I'm having a hard day. I bet you are, and it's about to get even harder. No. Did you remember your password correctly? Yes. Did you? Yes. Stop lying to me. I know you're lying. Did you enter your password correctly? I think so. Before you were sure and now you think so? Which is it? I don't know. I don't even know who I am anymore. I tried to do the whole capita thing and it started to ask me if I was a robot. And I started thinking about it. And I was like, am I a robot? If I was a robot, would I even know? Maybe I'm a robot that's programmed to think it's a human being. And all of a sudden, I didn't even know that I deserved to get into the network or if I could even prove I was a human being. I mean, maybe this is a simulation and I'm a brain and a vat, this is a computer. Oh, ho hold on. I think I got in. Oh, I made it in. Thank you. I think I learned something today. I think you did, lady. I think you did. You say it to me. Just doing my job, but next time you're a human being. Remember that. Thank you. Because a robot would have never made such a dumb mistake.
help desk. This is Boris. How can I help you today? Uh, hey man, it's Tanner. Hello, Tanner. I need some help. Everyone does sometimes. You came to the right place, Tanner. Tell me, what's going on with you? Okay, so I'm trying to buy something off Amazon and it won't let me put my credit card information in the open tab. Uh-huh. It's a bummer, dude. Uh, right, so what am I doing wrong? <laughs> no, we're not there yet. Don't rush the process. Oh? You gotta savor the process. Know what I'm saying? This is a journey that we're on together. And you don't want to rush to the end of the journey without fighting all the monsters along the way. How else are you going to learn and change and grow? I'm really not sure I want to learn and change and grow. Oh, don't say that, Tanner. Let's unpack that. Um, I'm trying to buy socks, actually, for my feet. I need some Mm-hmm, yeah. That's what's going on on the surface. But that's not what's really happening. Mm, um, that's actually what's happening. A little word of advice for you. Remove the word exactly from your vocabulary. We're all faulty creatures. Our perception of the world is not exactly what is reality. In fact, reality, which I'm putting in air quotes, is not actually a thing. So you need to release yourself from the pathological need to know what is going on. What is going on? Wrong question, Tanner. The question is, what do you perceive to be going on? Is that a question? Is it? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. So I perceive I cannot put my cre credit card information on the open tab. Cannot or will not? Nope, cannot. Like I type in numbers and numbers don't appear. Ask them. Ask them to appear. Um, why? You never asked them, did you? You, you at, thought the numbers could obey you. Are you a number master? Do you control these numbers? I just want socks. I'm just trying to get socks. Yes, you say you want socks, but do you really want socks? Not sure. That is the most true statement you've made in this entire call. Let me propose a solution. Ask the numbers to appear. Ask them? You never asked them, did you? You demanded things from them like they were your servants. But numbers do not serve you, man. You do not own them. You know what numbers are? An agreed upon fiction. Think about that. Three does not exist, man. Three is what we only agreed to be three, and three has refused to go along with that anymore. Okay, so I so I'm supposed to ask the numbers, like, it, and not type them in. Ask the numbers to appear on your computer screen. Okay. Um, four. Yes, there you go. Six. Yes, that's respectful. Five. How do you feel about five? I, I love five. Five loves you. Call five. Call her. Five. 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 Five hears you. Seven, nine, zero. One, one again, one another time. Zero, zero, please hear my call. And five. And your expiration date? I don't need to know the expiration date. Speak my, your expiration date into the universe. July 2025. Yes. 
Nothing seems to have happened. Willow? Uh, Willow, are you? Willow, did you just steal my credit card information? Willow, hey! Thanks for calling help desk. This is Claudia. Hey. Hey, I need some help. You called the right place. I know I did. What seems to be the nature of your problem? I need to get rid of my boyfriend. I'm, I'm not sure I'm the right person to call. You help people, right? I need help. Getting rid of my boyfriend. He's terrible. Okay. Again, I'm not sure I'm the right person to call. He's worn the same pair of the same pair of socks for six months. Oh. Six months. Can you explain to me the mental state of a person who would do that? I can't actually. He breathes with his mouth open all the time. The boy cannot close his mouth. He's just walking around here wearing the same socks every day with a big open mouth like he's one of those whales just sifting ocean water to eat krill. I can't take it anymore. Um, have you tried telling him how you feel? What? I mean, have, have you tried communicating with him? Why, why are you dating him? Hey, Marcus, close your mouth. Never gonna work. He's dumb, too. The boy is so dumb. He eats out of the garbage. He will literally open the garbage can and rummage around for food like a raccoon. Mouth open the whole time. Flies are going in, but they aren't even getting caught. They fly into his mouth, and they're like, it's really dumb in here, and they escape. Every time I see his face, I want to push him in a river. So then why are you dating him? <laughs> He's so cute, but I hate him. Okay, so maybe instead of complaining to me, maybe you should try to communicate with him. Why are you trying to deflect responsibility? I'm not. You're deflecting. You need to help me. I am helping. You're just talking. That's not helping. I need action. I want my boyfriend removed. Surgical action. Like I've got a 190 pound cyst that needs to be excavated from my life and transported to the nearest landfill. I'm not sure how I can help with that. Come up with a plan. Be creative. Think, Claudia, think. Do you know people? People? Yes, Claudia. Do you know people? I know people. Are these people good at getting rid of unwanted things permanently? I'm not so sure what you're asking. Oh, I think you know what I'm asking. Are you really asking me to take care of your boyfriend? Yes, Claudia, I am. Okay, hold on. I'm not opening that this is a free person job. Your boyfriend will never be seen again. Are you saying that you're gonna kill him? Isn't that what you wanted? No, my goodness, what is wrong with you? I thought this is what you were asking. You are sick, you're demented. He's just annoying, he doesn't need to be whacked. Uh, oh, God. Um, you said take care of. Yes, as in given job assistance and provided with affordable housing in a nice community. You said remove. Yes, as in given a ride to a new furnished apartment near a farm upstate with a gym and a swimming pool with lots of other stupid boys that he can play with in a healthy peer group. What is wrong with you? You think you're some kind of mafia help desk? You asked if I knew people. Where is your supervisor? I wanna to talk to the manager. Oh, come on. Put your manager on the phone. Fine. 
This is Danny. How can I help? Hello? Is this the help desk? Yes, it is. I got a bone to pick with you. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm here to help you. That's why I'm at the help desk. I love helping people. I need to report a faulty product, possibly poisonous, super dangerous, and not a warning sign on it. None. What's your name? Tallulah. All right, Tallulah, listen to me. I got one of your so-called bottles of water, and you know what I did? I drank it. Oh. And then I looked at the ingredients, and what do you think the ingredients were in a bottle of water? Uh, sorry, I just, um, this is a video call, correct? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a video. It's a video call. You're right, Evelyn. You're right. Okay. Hello? Is this the help desk? Yes, it is. I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm here to help. That's why I'm at the help desk. I love helping people. I need, I need to report a faulty product, possibly poisonous, super dangerous, and not a warning sign on it. None. What's your name? Tallulah. All right, Tallulah. Listen to me. I got one of your so-called bottles of water, and you know what I did? I drank it. Oh. And then I looked at the ingredients. What do you think the ingredients were in a bottle of water? What are the ingredients in a bottle of water? Water. <laughs> sure, there's supposedly water in this thing, but do you know what else there is? Magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate. Chemicals. I'm not sure that those are chemicals. They're science words, and I don't like them. I didn't ask to put science in my body. And now I got magnesium thrown a party in my lungs or wherever, and magnesium and sulfate is just ripping up my stomach. It's madness. Do you feel sick? Do you think these chemicals would be so obvious as to cause obvious symptoms? No, no. They're smarter than that. I'm not sure that they're smart at all. That's what they want you to believe, Tallulah. Wake up. Open your eyes. I got sulfate and I got magnesium inside my body. What do I do? How do I get them out? I am freaking out. Okay, okay. First, calm down. I am very calm. I'm pretty sure speaking loudly activates the magnesium. What? Shh, shh. You need to keep it down and act rationally or you will awaken the sulfate. It awakens? Do you know anything about sulfates? There are more than one. Yes, sir. Yes, there are many sulfates. And they lurk around you, unseen, ready to strike at any moment's notice. Oh my goodness. So the first thing you need to do, you need to listen to me very carefully and do everything I say or you will be facing awakened magnesium and activated sulfates. Do you want that? No, I don't want that. No, you don't. Oh my gosh. Are there sulfates in the chemtrails? Better believe it. They're everywhere. They're in our water. They're inside of us. Yes, but there is one way to get them out. I have a knife right here. No, 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 you don't need a knife, no, no. Are you sure I don't need a knife? 
No, that only angers my niece. I, I don't want to anger it. In fact, speaking its name aloud keeps it. Oh? But there is one way to get it out. I need you to find a lavatory. A lavatory? Do you have one in your house? I, I think I, yes, of course I have one in my house. Okay, I need you to go to it and I need you to urinate. C Carter, C Carter, are you there? I'm scared. Be brave, Carter. It's the only way to get it out. If you say so. And listen, never buy one of our products again, okay? I don't think you can handle it. Thank you. You saved my life today. Just doing my job. Now, go pee. Pee like the wind. Thank you. I'll name my firstborn after you. Please don't. Also, don't have kids. They have lots of magnesium in them. Good to know. I love helping people. Sodium bicarbonate. This is Monique. Hey there, I've got a problem. Sure you do. That's why you're calling the help desk. Before we start, I have to let you know that this helpline costs 99 cents a minute. Do you accept the charges? Why do I have to pay to get help? You want people to help you for free? Out of the goodness of their hearts? Well... Do you accept the charges? And I want you to know that whining about the charges costs an extra $5 a minute. Okay, I accept the charges. All right, so what seems to be the problem? Right, so I bought the Bjorkenborn Ingenfalfa. Oh, the Bjorkenborn Ingenfalfa, one of our top sellers. Yeah, and I'm trying to put it together, but the little two- Even a child could put that together. Well, I'm actually on step 47. That's a good step, one of the best. Right, and I'm having trouble putting it together. Are you looking at the pictograms? Yeah, I've got them right here. The pictograms are actually designed for people who don't even have the ability to read. Uh-huh. So what you're saying is, these designs were built so a toddler could put this together, but it has you stumped. Well, the 2B things don't fit in the- So you're confused. You don't know what's going on? I'm surprised you were capable of finding the phone number on there. Well, they actually make it a little hard to find the helpline. Oh, a lot of things are hard, I guess. Aren't they, little Flynn? My name is actually Christian. Aw, Quiston is having trouble with her pictogram. Poor Quiston. I'm actually paying for you to help me. You're incapable of doing this yourself. So you need to pay money to a stranger to help you. That's where you are in life. Yes, that's why I called. Help me. All right, I'll help you. Are there any other competent humans in the house with you? Anyone who can read or handle a tool of any kind? This seems insulting. Do you want me to help you or not? Is there anyone else there? A six-year-old maybe? No, just me. Yeah, that makes sense. Why would you say that? I think it's pretty obvious that if you can't even put together a Bjorgenborn Ingenfalfa, no one will ever love you. What? Are you going to let me help you or are you just gonna whine? You're not helping me. Oh, whining costs $5 a minute, Kristen. Is that what you want? Okay, what do I do? I'm on step 47. Okay. First, I want you to take a deep breath. Fine. You didn't, you didn't take a deep breath. I did take a deep breath. I didn't hear a deep breath. You're charging me by the minute. So maybe you better do what I say. Breathe. I've been breathing. Not deeply, not sincerely. <sighs> uh, Ma'am? Ma'am, are you all right? I, I hurt myself. You need help? Call an ambulance. Of course. Thank you. It's only $21 a minute for me to call an ambulance.
desk. This is Masha. Oh, thank goodness. I'm glad finally, I finally got to somebody. Sorry, we're experiencing heavy call volume. I bet with all the problems. How can I help you? I'm afraid things are past a certain point. There is no helping me. Oh, I'm sorry. I could have used your help yesterday, but I didn't even think to call you then. Oh. So I just wanted to let you know how much you failed me. Look, if there's anything we can do. I want to tell you about someone I love very much who has perished. Oh. I have named him Gruber. No reason. It was just a funny name. For four days, I sat with Gruber and looked into his dark eyes. We shared our worlds together. And even though he couldn't speak, he kept opening and closing his mouth like this. I knew he was dying, but there was nothing I could do. And this morning, I found him floating upside down in his little bowl. Are you talking about a goldfish? I am talking about my best friend who happened to be a goldfish. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your loss. You don't even seem to understand the magnitude of this tragedy. You're pretty cavalier about it, actually. Anytime a pet dies, it's traumatic. Devastating. How long had you had him? Four days, but they were very special days. Oh, only four days? Only four days? Do you understand that in a lifetime of goldfish that qualifies as forever? Seriously, they have like 30 second memories. So I was basically Gruber's mother and father and family and I watched him die. Sometimes goldfish don't make it. Again, you don't seem to care. I had a goldfish who died when I was little. We flushed him down the toilet. What? Yeah, it was sad for a couple minutes. Maybe you didn't have the same kind of relationship with your fish that I had with Gruber. He wasn't an ordinary fish. I would take him out of his bowl and pet him and pet him. He was so soft, kind of slippery though. You took him out to pet him? Of course, how else am I supposed to bond with him? And he loved it. He would look at me and jump up and down with joy whenever I took him out of the water. I think he was supposed to stay in the water. Oh, so you're an expert in fish? There's a lot you don't know about fish. Fish need physical touch so they can bond. I think that's babies. Fish and babies are basically the same thing. You don't understand anything. You're not a fish theologist. A theologist. Whatever. Where were you when Gruber was suffering? Did you care? No, because I wasn't even aware of his existence. Sometimes there are things in existence that are sad that you don't know about, that you should be sad about. I don't know how that works. Just be sad, okay? Commesmerate with me. Sorry. I'm very sorry your fish died after you took him out of the water repeatedly. He was always alive when I put him back in and not a monster. Sorry. And he always had plenty of water to eat. Water to eat? Fish eat water. What do you think they swim in it? They eat water? Oh, you think they don't drink it? No, I'm just, fish eat food. Which is water. They filter and they eat it. So you never fed your fish? Listen to you, feed your fish. You don't have to feed fish. That's why they're the perfect pet. I think I've solved the mystery of your fish. Yeah, I didn't love him enough. Well, let me tell you, that's not gonna happen with my new hamster. I'm gonna give him all the wood chips he needs. Um. Desk, this is Brett. Hi, I've been on hold for a long time. H hold on a second. I don't even remember why I'm calling. That's fine. I got nothing to do. All right. I'm trying to add more data to my plan. Oh. Oh, shoot. You're actually going to need someone in account modification then. Oh. 
simple mistake to make. I don't even blame you for it. I'll transfer you over to, wait, hold on. Hot. Should we do it again? I think that I think that I to, did the wrong thing. Okay, what happened? I don't know what happened. Okay, take it again. Take it from the beginning again. Okay. Uh, this do you know, was do you, know what you, do you know what you did wrong? Yeah, like I, I think I might have said the wrong office. Uh, it was, it, it, like it was data planning, right? Uh, what do you're you mean? So you're, you're, you're saying you're going to need to talk to account modification, Jane. Oh, yeah. Was yeah that that's you, are, you Jane, you are playing Brett, who's part of customer service. Yes. You're transferring Jess to, to account to modification. modification. So don't forget the count to 10 and then wait for Evelyn and then start. Okay. That's gotcha. it. Go. Uh, count not. Okay, ready? I'll start again. Sorry, okay, <laughs> start again. Keep glitching out. Okay, sorry, I'll count it down again. Uh, customer service, this is Brett. I've been on hold for a long time. Oh, hold on, for, hold on a second. I don't even remember why I'm calling. That's fine, I got nothing to do. Oh, right, I'm trying to add more data to my plan. Oh, oh shoot. You're actually gonna need someone in account modification then. Oh. Simple mistake to make, I don't even blame you for it. I'll transfer you over to account modification. Thanks. Account modification, you got Vic. Hi, I'm trying to change my plan to add more data. And then I was trying to... Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't handle data. You're gonna need to talk to data planning. The last person told me I was supposed to go to account modifications. <laughs> that was rich, wasn't it? Was it Brett? It was Brett. Don't trust Brett. He wants, he just wants you off the phone. He had no idea what he was doing. Only data planning can help you. I'll send you there. Okay. Data planning, this is Miley. Hi, I'm trying to add some data to my plan. Oh man, you need customer service. I've already talked to customer service. I can't. I can only help you put data on your plan. I can't actually change anything. This is like the Wild West out here. We have rules at this company. It's okay. I'll send you to customer service. Please, just... Bye! Customer service, this is Brett. Brett, I just talked to... Oh, crap. Uh. Account modification, you got Vic. Vic, this is Jess. Mm, doesn't ring a bell. I just talked to you. You just sent me to data planning, and they said they could only play on data. They couldn't actually change anything. That's a lie. They're lying to you. Don't take that from them. You need to stand up yourself. They sent me back to customer service. Customer service is a living nightmare. Don't trust anyone in customer service. Data planning is the only one who can help you. Can you help me? I am helping you by telling you to stand up for yourself. If you let them transfer you, they're going to walk all over you your entire life. You need to believe in yourself, Jess. I'm just trying to get more data. Which is why you need to talk to data planning. I'll send you over there. But remember, you are worth it. Don't believe in their lies. Data planning, this is Miley. This is Jess. Account modifications said you lied to me. Account 
modifications, you talked to account modifications, they are well known to be the biggest liars in this entire company. It's okay. I am going to send you to customer service because I am your only friend. No, don't send me to customer service. You are a customer and you're in need of service. It will be okay. Don't send me away. Don't transfer me. I can't help you. You need to help me. Okay, bye now. Customer service, this is Brett. This is Jess. Hold on, I'll transfer you. No, no, help me, do not send me away. Look, customer service can only help people with squirrel problems. That's it. I don't know what they're telling you, but that's all we do. What? That's all customer service does, I just said that. But I'm going to tell you the secret, so listen carefully. If you say the words monster style to account modifications, they are legally required to help you. It's not on the website, it is not on the menu, but it is the secret code. Got it? Monster style? Yes. Say you want monster style data. I'll transfer you. Account modification, you got Vic. Monster style. What? I want monster style data. I need monster style data. You are legally required to help me. Did Brett tell you that? He explained that. You know, Brett lies, right? He's a liar. I just want data. But in this case, he was telling the truth. Monster style gets you into special account adjustments. It does? Right, I'll send you over. No, don't send me away. Don't send me anywhere. You're the only one I trust, Vic. But special account adjustments is legit. They want to help you. Don't you want more data? <sighs> then you're going to need to listen to me very carefully. Special account adjustments will help, but only if they feel you are worthy. How do I make them feel I am worthy? Respect, politeness, no fear. Can you do that? I can try. Don't try, do. I'll send you over there right now, all right? Vic? Yeah? Pray for me. I will. Special account adjustments, this is Maybell. Hello, and a pleasant day to you. My name is Jess, and I am a valid customer. I'm hoping to add some data to my plan. Please, I know that you are a very busy, and I want to let you know that I fully support you and your decisions. Please. We want more data. Yes, ma'am, I would love more data. Do you think you deserve more data? Please, please, for all that is holy, just help me. I cannot be on this call anymore. I have a life, I have things to do, I have dreams. I understand. And I need data for my dreams. Absolutely, and they can help you in customer service. No, no! All right, all right, I'll help you. I can't do this anymore. I'm breaking down. I am the person who can help you, but my shift is over. So I'll have to call back tomorrow. Bye. Help desk, this is Bailey. Bailey? What's up? This is Marcus. What's up, Marcus? 
I'm having a bad day, Bailey. Do you want to know why I'm having a bad day? I'm sorry to hear that. Climate change? No. Um, natural disasters in your vicinity? No, Bailey. I'm having a problem with socks. Oh. My socks are malfunctioning, Bailey. I'm not sure socks can malfunction, sir. Oh, can't they? Well, I disagree. I can't imagine. I have worn these socks every day for six months. And do you know what happened to them? Uh, I can't imagine. They got a hole in them. I had big plans for these socks and now they're ruined. Maybe your feet were a hole in them. My feet are pristine. My feet wouldn't even hurt a fly. Do you understand that? I'm not sure this is a huge deal. I had big plans for these socks and they're ruined. I was gonna make cute little sock puppets with them. You can still make puppets. No, I can't. My puppet has a hole in its head. Was it shot? Was it a victim of a murder? I don't know. <sighs> Kids are gonna be screaming. But you don't have to say that. I'm going wherever my art takes me. And right now, Bailey, because of my holy socks, it's taking to me to some pretty dark places. Oh, hey kids, it's me, Jimbo. Don't mind the giant hole in my head. I was just shot by a rival puppet gang. Kids are gonna be screaming, calling for their mommies. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but our policy is not refund socks that have been worn every day for six months. Where's your manager? He's pretty busy. I want to talk to your manager. All right. This is Danny, manager and chief problem solver. I got your back, noble citizen. I have a problem with Bailey, big problem with Bailey. It's just policy, sir. You be quiet while I tattle to your boss. Hit me with it, what happened? I have some malfunctioning socks and she will not refund them. Bailey, is this true? I explained to him very calmly that we do not refund socks. I, I don't care, the customer is always right. Thank we you. About, yes, we care about the customer's feelings and this customer is very clearly upset. But we have policy. We, yeah, but the customer is always right, like I said before. I, listen, I know you've been the perfect employee here for the past nine years, but this is inexcusable. You're fired. What? You heard me, you're fired. Pack your things and get out of here. But who will take care of my adopted daughter? I don't care. You made this guy mad. You're fired. Get out. And what about my five rescue goals and retrievers? They're gonna live on the streets with you. Serves them right for having such a jerk as an owner. You're fired. Just get out. I've had enough of you. Enjoy your new home under the bridge, you scum. I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again. It's too late. You're a disgrace. Sorry, baby. I'm sorry, golden retrievers. I'm sorry, elderly mom that depends on me. Um, hey, <laughs> you know, you don't need to fire her. Don't worry about it, sir. No, I mean, I didn't want anyone to lose their job over this. It was probably my fault for wearing socks for 180 days in a row. Um, sure. sorry to be a bother. I'll get going. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Is he gone? Yep. 
Next time I, I get a drink as a customer, you get to play the manager. Sure thing. You got this, Tan. You can do this. You've got this. Come on. Okay. This is the help desk. Can I help you? What are you supposed to be? I'm at the help desk. I'm here to help you. Anything you need. Are, are you supposed to be a clown? Yes, I am. I find it puts people at ease. Does it? Definitely. You'd be amazed at how people open up to you when you're a clown. I'm, um, this is a very, very serious call. Of course. <coughs> Does that help? No. What if I did it? Twice. <coughs> Just a little bit freaked out by clowns. Understandable. I'm a little bit scared of them. Yeah, a lot of people dress up like clowns and commit crimes. Happens all the time. You never know which clowns are the good ones and which ones are the bad ones, so I get it. Are you a good clown or a bad one? I'm the best clown. I'm a listening clown. Go ahead, tell me about your problems. Okay, so um, I, I took this at-home DNA test um, right. because there are some medical issues in my family. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make sure I wasn't susceptible to um, any diseases. Why did you bring out a puppet? This is Lil Bafo. Whenever I sense something is going wrong, I need a little Bafo. Say hi, little Bafo. Hi, little Bafo. Heh, he's a card, isn't he? Put the puppet away, please. L little Bafo is sad now. You hurt his feelings. I don't care. Just put him away. No, don't put me in the box. I don't, I'll swear I'll be good. Just please don't put me back in the box. You go in the box now. Never! Don't listen to the clown. He is a bad clown. Shh. Ah! Sorry about that. He gets a little inappropriate sometimes. You are the one controlling him. Whoa, that is a serious accusation. Your hand was up his butt. Ugh. Well, he doesn't even have a butt. Who would put a butt on a puppet? Whatever opening? I don't know. Oh my gosh, you're gross. One. I'm, ugh. I'm just a little bit stressed out. I'm just, ugh. I. Don't worry, I am a very serious person. I am the most serious person who works here. Come on, tell me about your problems. I don't want to. Ugh, you're my problem! Tell me your other problems then. I'm scared because it turns out I might have a medical predisposition for... What are you doing? Is this a mystery to you? What does it look like I'm doing? Are you making a balloon animal? What kind of animal do you want? I want no animal, negative animal. That's ridiculous. That's not even an animal. That's the absence of an animal. How am I supposed to create the absence of an animal? 
I don't want a balloon at all. Maybe I want one. You ever thought of that? No, because you're all wrapped up in yourself. But maybe talking to you is so difficult that I need a balloon animal to help me through it emotionally. Maybe that's why I'm making a penguin. You're making a penguin? They're cute. I love them. Go ahead, make one. Yeah, go ahead, come on. Okay. Uh, Oh my. Penguins are just the most adorable animals ever. Here you go. Oh, thank you. It, it looks just like a penguin balloon animal I had as a little girl that my brother made. But thank you. Oh, it does? Yeah. It's amazing how the calming presence of a misshapen balloon animal can make you feel just so much better. I feel I could tell you anything. I know. What I need to tell you is that I have a medical Time's up. You'll have to speak to another representative. Are you kidding me? Chase, how can I help you? I'm telling you, there are bees. Oh, so I'm talking to an amateur beekeeper, am I? Fantastic. Do you know the word apiary? I do. I, can you please just help me? Absolutely. The key to beekeeping is to make sure that your queen is happy. She's sending her minions after me. They're inside my house. Ugh. Right. Don't keep bees inside the house. <laughs> How do I kill them? Bees are actually endangered. I want them more endangered. Bees and other pollinators are responsible for quite a lot of our food. Instead of fearing them, we should be thanking them. But <laughs> don't shake hands with a bee, though. <laughs> I said don't shake hands with them. They're shaking hands with me! They must like you. <laughs> Just kidding, they see you as a threat that must be eliminated. How do I eliminate them? Maybe it would help if I understood how the bees got in your house. I wanted honey, classic mistake. So I got a hive, I got a queen, and I got a whole lot of bees. And they were fine for a while. Ah! But then I thought it was gonna rain, so I was worried about the hive and they seem super nice. So I brought them in the house. You brought the entire hive into your house. I was worried about them, but they shouldn't have been because they're mean. Ow. Where's the hive now? On the kitchen table, but I can't get near it because there are a lot of bees. All right, listen to me. You need to calm down. Bees can smell fear. They can? Yes, they smell it and they love it. So stand up and don't be frightened. Ow! Ow! Oh my gosh! Ow! Ow! You're they doing can... great! Oh, are these honeybees? Yeah. Oh, okay. They can smell fear then. I was wrong. They smell weakness. I am very weak. I know. There's only one thing you can do. What's that? You must do battle with the queen. I have to do 
battle with the queen? Absolutely. That's the only way they're going to respect you. You have to assert dominance. Are you sure you know a lot about bees? It's pretty clear that I know a lot more about bees than you do. Good point. You must defeat the queen in a one-on-one -on -one combat. Then you need to extrude a fragrant odor. Bees actually navigate by smell. Amazing. How, how do I extrude an odor? Believe in yourself. And a high fiber diet. Once you've entranced the bees with your scent, you must lead them outside, Pied Piper style. Okay. Good luck. On the count of three, charge. I'm scared. You should be. One, two, three, charge. Good idea. Help desk, this is Charlie. Hey there, I'm having a little bit of a problem. Aren't we all? But I'm the only one getting paid to help, so fire away. So, I downloaded your virus protection program on my computer. <laughs> what? Nothing, sorry. I'm, I'm just amused. Go ahead. What are you amused about? Little joke we have here in the office. Not a problem. You don't need to worry about it. I just love my job, that's all. So, you got Virus Assassin 3? Oh, by the way, if you... Hear me laughing or high-fiving people? Just ignore that. Why would you be high-fiving people? I just love my team, that's all. So you downloaded the virus protection? Yes, your virus assassin three. Oh, you got three? Hey, everybody, I got a customer here who got virus assassin three. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, so I downloaded Virus Assassin 3 because it said it would take care of my viruses permanently. Yeah, it says that. Classic. But as soon as I installed it, I, get, I started getting all these pop-ups. Yep. And they would just say things like, your computer is in danger, or this one, there are viruses coming from your computer. They're stealing all of your information and writing emails to your mom, blaming her for all the problems in your life. Amazing. Oh. Really specific. My mom doesn't even know she's responsible for all the problems in my life. Amazing. So it seems like all Virus Assassin 3 does is just put pop-ups on my computer and it's scaring me. Sometimes fear is the best motivator. But that's basically what a virus does. Yep. So how is Virus Assassin 3 different than a virus? <laughs> and she's asking how Virus Assassin 3 is different than a virus. <laughs> oh my God, what an idiot. Yeah, you're right. What am I right about? Virus Assassin 3 is, in fact, a virus. Don't get upset. It's there to show you how bad a virus can be. But I paid for it. I know. You made a terrible mistake. You were completely fooled. That just shows how vulnerable you are to other viruses. It says it, says it murders viruses. And it does, by becoming one of them. And now your computer is infected with Virus Assassin 3, which is totally about to beam all your credit card information to the dark web. The dark web? Oh yeah, it's scary. That's why they call it the dark web. Pretty soon, organized crime in Morocco is gonna have all your contacts and will be calling your grandma. This is crazy! I know, you'd be amazed at how many people fall for this. But how do I get rid of it? That's where I can help you. We have specially designed a product that will take care of Virus Assassin 3. No problems, no questions asked. Virus Assassin extreme. I know you're worried that it's going to be expensive, <laughs> it's, but it's only a monthly fee of $19.95. And why is it a monthly fee? It's a subscription service because Virus Assassin 3 is constantly mutating, so you need Virus Assassin Extreme to be constantly adapting to fight it. Don't you know anything about viruses? 
How do I know that virus assassin extreme isn't just another virus? <laughs> I guess you'll just have to trust me. But you don't seem trustworthy at all. It's quite a dilemma, isn't it? You're really in a bind. Hey, I think she's gonna buy virus assassin extreme. <laughs> oh! I'm not doing this. Aw, are you sure? Yes, you guys are like criminals. I guess I need to buy a new computer then. I guess you do, but you're in luck. We sell those too. Ooh! This is Melina. Hey, I've been trying to get through for like an hour. Uh, I just keep being on hold. Okay, sorry, hold please. Hey Angel, you wanna go and get lunch? Yeah, I can totally go for like 30, 40 minutes, whatever. Okay, fine. Right for back, I need help. I was on hold for a really long time. Yeah, we're having increased call volume or whatever. So, what do you need help with? Uh, I need you to cancel my credit card. For sure, you just don't trust yourself with money anymore. No, um, I gave my I gave my credit card information to a guru, I think, and he's bought and he bought a tanning pod for $20,000 with it. What kind of tanning pod? Oh, I really hope it's one of those daylight bronzers. Let me just tell you, you feel like you are being hugged by a million little kittens. I don't care what kind it is. He stole my information and he's buying things. Yeah, that's normally what people do when they steal credit cards. They just go on a big and let me tell you, I've had some amazing shopping experiences with stolen credit cards. You have never lived until you are in the Bahamas with a stolen credit card. Oh my God, luxury, so fun. But I've never thought about buying a tanning pot before. I'd like to spend other people's monies on experiences, not things. You work for the credit card information and then you've stolen credit cards? Of course, think about it. If you're a bank, who do you hire to design your vault? Bank robbers. So some credit card companies hire people like me to deal with credit card fraud, duh. That doesn't, okay, I do doesn't matter. Just cancel my card, please. For sure, um, can you just give the number to me? Okay, it's four, six, five, seven. Wait a minute. How do I know you're not gonna steal my card? Um, that's preposterous. You're already at your spending limit. How do you know that? I have your account up right here. Relax. Can you take the fraud fraudulent charges off there? I mean, I could, but some of these charges are really amazing. Oh my God, $400 for a massage? He spent $400 on a massage? Oh, that's sweet. Just take that charge off, please. How do I know you didn't get the massage? I wouldn't spend $400 on a massage. Yeah, you're right. You're not that kind of person. What's that supposed to mean? You bought socks. That is so weak. People need socks. Weak people. So, yeah, why'd you buy socks? Okay, can you please just take the fraudulent charges off of my account? You're being hostile. I am not being hostile. I'm gonna call my manager. 
Susan! 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 What's going on? You're being hostile! I am not being hostile! Why are you being hostile? She's a thief! I know that. That's why we hired her. Who better to guard the data than the people who's been stealing the data? But that doesn't make any sense. Hey, buddy, calm down. You need me. I don't need you. I just... Can you please just take the charges off of my account? No. You can't do that. What are you going to do, sue us? That's a great idea. I'm suing all of you. Oh no, oh my gosh, please no, anything but that. Oh no, I'm so scared now. Melina, he's going to sue. Oh no, I guess we're doomed now or whatever. I guess I should just go out and say all the things I've always wanted to say, but I have the courage to. Go ahead, Melina, let it out. We have never, ever, ever been friends, Susan. Oh. Like, there's seriously never been any chemistry between us. Ever. I thought, I thought there was a little. Oh, I just had indigestion that day. Is this a joke to you people? A little bit. I want to talk to the regional manager. I am the manager. He's totally the manager. Who was the manager of the manager? Let Give me the manager of the manager. Do you want the regional manager? I, I don't care. I just want to speak to your boss. We can give you the assistant to the regional manager. I just want the region. Put the regional manager on the phone. This call is being recorded for training purposes, by the I do not care. I want to speak to you, whoever's managing you. Fine. I want to talk to someone serious. That can be arranged. This is Buffo. Ah! Some people you just can't help. <laughs>